Ortiz or McKinson. Hearts is um, no, not even Hearts is McKinson. No, no, it's rubbish. I'd like McKinson to win, but um, Virgil Ortiz. Biggest fight for you, surely Boots or winner between McKinson and Ortiz. Exactly that. Exactly that. Um, yeah, exa exactly that. Ennis or the winner of Virgil Ortiz, McKinson, 100%. If McKinson beats um, Virgil Ortiz, that makes that fight with me and him so much more sellable. He's the most unsellable, unwatchable fighter I've ever known. Um, so why would I want to take part in that? Uh, I wouldn't. So uh, he's got to have something, some substance behind him. It comes going well, man. What about Boots? Boots, great fighter. Great, great fighter. What's my prediction, Ortiz McKinson? Um, uh, Jez, it is, um, listen, as much as I'd like uh, McKinson to win, um, I don't see it going past four or five. That's my, on that's my honest opinion. Um, Ortiz is a fast star. Um, the problem is, is when you don't have no power, things had like one, two records. Um, one, two um, knockouts on his record. So it's like, um, <laughs> Yeah, see if that was me. Yeah, I will hit anything on his body. I would hit anything on his body. I'd hit his arms, his legs. Um, yeah, I'm in Wickford now. Just um, just finished track work, um, so just heading back. I well, just pulled over to do this live. To be fair, um, so I can go home and chill out. But um, yeah, see what's funny. I'd just hunt him down, walk straight through him, and um, I know he says he can punch, but I mean it's like me going to you. My interior is black. My, yeah, my no, my interior is definitely black. It's like it's like one of them ones when he's saying you can punch, but he's only had two knockouts. Um, you know, his biggest wins are are Chris Congo, and um, his biggest win is Chris Congo, who was just about losing. Well, we had a close fight with Luther Clay, and then you want to jump to Virgil Ortiz and say, um, say. Um, say that he's going to win it's such a massive jump you see with my career we we took steps um, had the look against um, Samuel Vargas who just fought Virgil Tees had that look against Chris Algier when he just beat a good fight had that look against Formella when he just lost to Sean Paul um, you know um, and we weigh up how I am in comparison you can sort of do the, um, the benchmark there's no benchmark with him apart from Congo so how do you then go from there to there we, we're climbing the ranks we're we're getting to them levels where it's like how am I looking how am I looking with this stuff am I looking with that Chris Van Herden when he just fought Jaron Ennis how did I look in comparison so you want to sort of find out where you are and as far as I'm concerned right now they don't come nowhere near me um, you know if, if uh, McKinson had fought any of them last four opponents that I just fought um, they probably would have gone points and been a very 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 boring fight Am I worried about protecting the O? Not really, not really us. Do you know what I mean? I give value for money. I'm, I'm an entertainer. Um, I won't be coming over for the continent fight, no. Um, yeah, I'm um, I'm an entertainer. It's what we do. I think um, the O is too protected. Like, who cares, man? If he, people love watching me fight, and, and that's that. You know, I ain't, I ain't no Mayweather, that's for sure.